What's going on? Okay, so every Thursday we do the news on Shadow. This is no different. I mean, I, I might have missed last week, but you know, uh, there was a lot of news last week to be honest. This week though, ooh, we got we got some stuff. We got some spicy, spicy stuff this week. So let's get into it. first stuff we got for this week is, of course, the Ice Plains, uh, slash Joid Ice Plane is the map name that is confirmed in the post. Also, on the right is going to be in the March featured rare shop, and on the left will be for complete the story release, or part of the story release, somewhere in there. Might be boss drops, might be an emerge shop, might be, yeah, no, who knows where that'll be, but that'll be in the new release, and that will be in the shop for presumably ACs and or membership. And they might give it away for non-members also, but you never know. Uh, I really love that cape, and hopefully there's a matching cape for the white and blue set. Um, there's also a male version of, of course, the female version right here uh, with a sword that we have not seen already. So that is there. And uh, Krulong has made these uh, cat kind of hats. I don't know. I think he made the armor too. I'm not exactly... Uh, not exact on that, whether or not he made the armor, but I'm pretty sure he did. So, um, yeah, these cat hats are pretty cool. I don't know if that'll be part of the release also. Maybe. Uh, maybe that ties in release, or it might be in the treasure chest if it's not in the release. Alright, so very, very quickly, uh, we're going to go over uh, just a tiny little bit of Adventure Quest 3D news. So this is the current, um, like, only Dage map in Adventure Quest 3D. And it was the first official, like, Legion release. As you can see, everything's dark. I mean, it's, like, and not actually dark. It's all just artificially dark. This map would look, if I wasn't getting smacked by a skeleton, this map would look so much better if it didn't have a artificial fog on it. And, uh, let's, let's talk about this next little thing. So, Dage tweeted out this picture, which is obviously like a mock-up, it's something he wants to work on, and this might be a future release, well it probably, I, I would 100, I'd bet money on that they're going to do a future Legion release for Adventure Quest 3D, that's, it's a very safe bet, um, but this is the concept art for what that could look like with giant uh, undead statues, I guess? Which looks insane. I don't know. Everything about this looks insane. You can see the character model there for probably a size comparison to the rest of the map. I don't know if this is even possible to do with their uh, game engine and having that run on mobile with uh, objects that are that large. Might Maybe. Uh, I mean, they probably could do something like that, although it probably wouldn't be this uh, large in scale. But it just looks insane and the thought of... Uh, the underworld that in a Vision Quest worlds being in 3D form in a Vision Quest 3D, that, that'd be pretty insane. I'd log in to look at that. That'd be really cool to see. Okay, so back to the world of the two dimension. We have Z coming out with a brand new set. I, I don't know where it's man. It just it looks awesome, and the blade. Ooh, ooh, that blade, man. The detail, everything in this just looks insane. And it's called the Ascended Paladin. Very nice. I can't wait for this to be in-game. It looks very sick. Uh, that blade, dude, I I want this blade. It just looks nutty. Very nice looking set from Z. Just thought I'd show that off. That'll probably be coming out in a future release. Elena's been hitting that pun game hard. Next Friday, find out our most excellent Grenwog sets yet. The Steampunk Explorer. <laughs> um, okay, so I do have a small little issue with this uh, set. These shotguns, they they look a little on the uh, teeny tiny side. But other than that, very nice Steampunk set. It looks a little bit like a naval. Sort of, I mean, same style of like trench coat sort of armor there. And I really love that style of armor. So I'll definitely be checking out the steampunk sets coming out on Grand Walk. So, if you don't know when Grand Walk is, by the way, it's on the 7th of next month, April. And uh, the 31st is tomorrow. This is the Artix Entertainment Calendar, www. 
www.lrw.artix.com slash calendar. That's where you can go to check this out if you want to like know when releases are happening. So what we're going to talk about is one of the last things we're going to be talking about today, but one of the more important things in this video, of course. Uh, so tomorrow is Friday. It's the 31st, the release, the Friday release. But the day after that is April Fool's Day, April 1st. Or if you click on the calendar here, just another day. It's just another day in all our games. Nothing to see here. Back to battle, heroes. So if you don't know, every uh, April Fool's Day, they do an event. They turn, they change uh, battle on, slash join battle on in Adventure Quest Worlds into something normally. That's what they did last year. They turned it into uh, 3D from AQ 3D, of course. And the year before that, I think they made it 8-bit, uh, like pixel art. So... This year, not a lot of people know what's going to happen, but I have speculation on what's going to happen on the 1st of April. So, if we take a look at Elena's character page, and thank you very much for tweeting this at me. I do appreciate that, man. A little shout out to you there. Because um, this isn't on her character page right now, or else I'd be showing the character page. Um, took a screenshot. This is the Rainbow Lolololol Sock Helmet. Now, of course, it's a recolor of the original Troll Sock Helm that Elena has in her inventory right now. And she has the Rainbow Little Sock Helmet, which is not on the wiki. It's an unreleased helmet. Now, this, in accordance with this clip, I'm going to show you right now. Alright, so... I've been waiting. New Doge Helmets are... Going to be added to the game. Elena's wearing a pink one here. And if we scroll down past her a billion badges, we can look at her helmet inventory and see there's a Doge helmet, which is not in the wiki. That's not a helmet that's already in the game. That's brand new, which I'm going to guess that's like the orangish, yellow, blonde, uh, normal. Uh, what's the what's the breed of dog? I don't know. But the normal Doge and Doge the pink. That's the one that she probably has equipped right now. And Doge the Prismatic, which Prismatic means it'll be color custom, so you can make any color you want. So, three new Doge helmets are going to be soon, because they're already on Elena's character page. So, that last clip was from a few news videos ago. I think that was weeks ago. So, that was the Doge helmets that were never actually added into the game. That, along with the Troll helmet that is unreleased would bring me to believe that a meme style update i don't i don't really know what i'm talking about a, an event involving certain memes may be coming out on april the first i mean it feels good man all the way hopefully we get some pepes that would be very nice that is all the news except for one little thing one little thing here so not really a big deal but on hero mart uh this brand new t-shirt it's like minimalistic uh, Le future and current Legion, along with Null Gas Nation t-shirts, and a new print that you can also get signed if you would like a signature. I think that's from Dage. You would think it would be from Dage, because it is a Future Legion print, so hopefully Dage is signing those and not just some random person there. Um, but, yeah, so you can get that stuff on Hero Mart, and here are the badges for that if you want to see what the badge looks like. So if you want a badge like that on your character page, some people just collect badges, I know this. Um, so those are pretty cool looking badges actually, as far as badges go. But uh, that is all the news we have for today. A meme update could be coming out the day after tomorrow. We will see, hopefully, it'd be really cool to get that Doge helmet, the prismatic Doge helmet, all those would be pretty sick items to have in game i'll keep you up to date if anything else surfaces on my twitter so make sure you're following me there leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace